Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wall. Sorry about that I haven't been making any videos for the past few weeks. I've been busy and I've been into a lot of things, so I haven't been making a video in the past um, <clears throat> few weeks. Um, so let's go ahead and start my video today. Today, I would like to talk about blaming others. Before I um, talk about that, there is a photo I want to show you. Alright, thank you um, for looking at the photo. I showed you that video. And it tells you not to blame others when it's your own fault. Here's the thing. When you um, blame someone else for your mistakes, that is actually wrong. Um, And, and another thing is, just because someone always calls trouble, it doesn't mean they cause every problem. So, if you have somebody in your family or a friend that always calls trouble, don't be looking at that person every time um, something happens. Because you don't know if they did it. That's blaming others. I ain't going to blame others for my mistakes. When it's your mistake, it's your own fault. No one else's but yourself. So that's what I wanted to talk about today is about blaming others. Um, Like, let's say, um, let's say you got one of the disses out of the cupboard and you dropped one of the plates and broke it. Don't blame it on your brother or sister or your mom or dad or your friend. It's your own fault. It's no one else's but yourself. Or let's say that you eat too much sweets. Don't blame it on someone that makes um, sweets. It's your own fault for eating sweets. So that's what we want to talk about today, about blaming others. All right, it is time to get saved. I'd like to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that means we all have sinned, we all have made mistakes. None of us is perfect. I like to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the ways of sin is death, but a gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But hey, don't worry, I got another verse to say, and that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God disparates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. He died for me and you, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though. And I would like you, you to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, verse 13. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. That if you confess with 
your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Forever calls on the name of the Lord so be saved. Amen. Once you ask God to come into your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week because there may not be a next week. Let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that you died and rose from the dead for me. Please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed with me, you are now saved. I like you to first John chapter five verse eleven to thirteen. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his son. He who has the son has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God you can know that you are saved it's not a hope so it's a no so I like to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28 And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. And I like that verse. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I like to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have committed you, and lo, I am with you, always even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. And baptism does not get you to heaven. I'd like you to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And they continued steadfastly in apostles, doctrine, and fellowship, in breaking of bread, and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like you to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes desire the poor milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. I like to go to Philippines chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Be access for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which suppresses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. Well, last verse. I like to go to John chapter three and verse sixteen. God so loved the word, world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. 
that's all I have. Um, next week, um, I would like to talk about Valentine's Day. Goodbye, everyone.